Hi friends. Well today I'm going to do something a little different. I've done a little bit of this. I'm going to read the paper to you. The Guadalajara Reporter. Now why would I think that anybody would be interested in that? Well, I sat and thought about this for a while and I thought, well, you know, that seems kind of boring reading the paper. You know, people are always making jokes about uh, you, I, I would listen to you if you were reading the phone book, <laughs> which is <laughs> certainly, well, let's try it. <laughs> but seriously, I think that uh, just reading the headlines to you will give those of you who are perhaps interested in uh, checking out Mexico as a place to retire, might find it interesting to just see what goes on. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. The Guadalajara Reporter comes out uh, every Friday here, and I just buy it at the local grocery store. It's uh, 20 pesos. And you can subscribe to it online if you're interested. I think if you just Google Guadalajara Reporter, you'll figure out how to do that. And I'm not suggesting that you should, um, and this isn't a paid endorsement. I just thought it would be of some value to hear what's going on, the good and the bad, about living in Ajijic, Mexico. And where else do you find the good and the bad but on the front page of a newspaper? Usually mostly the bad. Uh, this one is about good and bad. The bad would be that uh, cops often uh, ask for a little bribe when they stop you for a traffic infraction or if you didn't have a traffic infraction and they would just like to have a little what is called mordida. The literal uh, translation of mordida is the little bite. They want to take a little bite out of your wallet. The headline is, Chapala Traffic Cops Say Adios to Mordidas. Chapala is, uh, the Mordida in Chapala is a thing of the past, according to local traffic police commanders. Residents uh, gathered at the Lake Chapala Society on Monday heard this message from the new commander. <laughs> I applaud that. Uh, there's a picture of people shoveling what appears to be snow, but it's actually hail. And this is the second time in a month that they've had these huge hailstorms in Guadalajara. Last time you probably saw pictures on the news because it made world news. It was like uh, 18 wheelers buried up to the windows on their cab in hail. Um, this one wasn't that bad, but this is uh, a whole bunch of people out there scoop shoveling hail out of the street. It was piled up about a foot deep. Makes you wonder about uh, what's going on with the weather in the world. Let's not dwell on global warming at the moment. A former Jalisco official is detained as a suspect in a property deal. So the story is that it was a Mexican official working for the Jalisco um, government. And to be clear, the fraud didn't happen in Mexico. It happened in a property deal in Chicago, Illinois. Chapala civil judge survives an armed attack. This is a judge from Chapala who up here on one of the major thoroughways south of Guadalajara was uh, a car pulled up alongside of him and started shooting at him and they shot, I don't know, six or seven times into his car, hit him in the leg one time and in the hand another time, but he survived. This brings me to something I'm always saying about the murder rate in Mexico, but there's another one on the next page before I repeat what I'm always saying about the murder rate. This one is, top narco escaped a long-time jail term only to become the target of hitmen. 
One of the organizers of one of the local cartels was incarcerated and got an early release, uh, much to the amazement of many people. Well, even though he got out of prison, uh, he was assassinated at a Carl's Jr. at the Galleria um, shopping center in Guadalajara. This is a shopping center that I've been to many times, and um, I've been to that Carl's Jr. Um, <laughs> one of the funniest things I think about when I think about the Galleria, and there's a Costco and a Sam's and a, and a Walmart right there too. Um, and, you know, big, big, big stores like, I think there's a Best Buy in there, whatever. Anyway, there's um, Applebee's, which I went to once and didn't go back because it was, the music was too loud. There's also a Hooters. And me and a friend went into the Hooters for lunch. And a guy came to the table to wait on us. And we left. <laughs> Anyway, this guy uh, was assassinated there at the Carl's Jr. And what I always say about murder in Mexico that I'm going to repeat for you now is that murder in Mexico is targeted. There's a story that goes around on the internet about um, an expat being murdered here at Lake Chapala. And if you dig into the rest of the story, which you never hear on the internet or in the news, is that he was buying his drugs from the wrong cartel. Don't do drugs, don't buy drugs. And you won't be in danger from the cartels. They don't like publicity. Um, well, we get to page three, there's actually a little bit of good news. The Ahihik Recycling Program is calling out for more volunteers to help sort out the trash. So I get questions about do they recycle here in Mexico. Yes, we recycle, but it's not the same kind of program that you have where I used to live in the United States, um, where they gave you different colored bins to separate out, separate out your glass and your plastic and your paper. Uh, and then a truck would come along and pick up uh, those bins and put those in separate places in the truck, keeping them separated. Uh, here the system is a little different. They pick up your garbage all together and then it goes to the dump and in some places there are uh, Mexican people who go out there and sift through all of the trash at the dump and pick out the things that they can recycle. And um, that seems to work very well, and it's, uh, it's a job for those people. Um, there is a recycling program here for Lakeside where they get volunteers to go and um, uh, sort out all of the plastics and the paper and the, and the whatever, and uh, then they sell that to a recycler in Guadalajara, and that's how they fund the recycling program. Um, this article is about they could use a little more money. Oh, in Portland, Oregon, when we used to, when they started recycling, the garbage company gave us uh, blue bins and yellow bins and green bins, I think. And um, uh, <laughs> Lynn and I used to fight about this. She always had to run the cans, like a tuna fish can or a soup can, through the dishwasher before she would put it in the recycling. Um, I don't remember what my objection was to that, but I never found it to be something that I agreed with. <laughs> anyway, uh, I went to the dump one time, and this is in Clackamas, Oregon. There's a huge, big, what they call the transfer center, I think. And they haul the garbage from there out to another place uh, up the Columbia River. Anyway, I went there and I saw this truck that has separate compartments for the glass and the plastic and other things, dumping it into the main garbage uh, trough. And I went and asked the driver, I said, what are you doing? You're dumping all of the stuff that everybody has sorted out into the main garbage and it's getting all mixed up. And his reply was, 
oh, you're just practicing at your house. And that was a long time ago. Hopefully, Portland, Oregon is not doing that anymore. Uh, Chapala hosts a golf hurlers. Let me reread that. Chapala hosts disc golf hurlers. Uh, this is uh, disc golf, and they're having a tournament. Uh, the Luz del Mundo Faithful Soldier On. There's a huge, big church complex in Guadalajara, and it is capable of uh, seating uh, 10,000 of the faithful at one time. Well, um, their leader, um, whom I'm not going to name, and his uh, Del Mundo adherents believe their leader to be the divinely elected apostle of God. Uh, the state of California believes that he's a, a sex offender and they have him in jail in Los Angeles. So apparently Mexico is not exempt from problems with priests. Uh, Guadalajara starts to take beer seriously. There's five different kinds of craft beers listed there that are being made up in there in Guadalajara. And they have uh, an article here about all the different ones that are coming from different parts around the world. I never heard of these because I'm not a craft beer <laughs> aficionado, but I love the names of a couple of these. Peanut Butter Milk <laughs> and The Belching Beaver. <laughs> yeah. uh, smart mobility app rewards motorists for safe driving habits so how this is working is that um, your phone knows if you're moving or not in a car because it has location um, capability and so the app starts scoring you lower if you talk on the phone or use the phone while you're driving. And then it reports this to insurance companies who are in on the deal and uh, they start uh, raising your premiums if you drive and use your phone. New technology. Uh, Uber releases trip verification feature for added security. I've gotten several questions about, do we have Uber around here? Yes, we have Uber. People always ask me about public transportation and, well, how do I get from the airport to the to Lakeside, to Ahihik or Chapala? You take a taxi. Don't take the bus because it requires going up into Guadalajara, which is 10 kilometers the wrong direction, and making a transfer at the main bus station to get back to Lakeside. Don't do that. The alternative for a bus is that you can walk, and it's about between a quarter and a half a mile from the terminal out to the main highway to catch a bus with your suitcases. Don't do that. Take a taxi. It's 450 pesos from the uh, Guadalajara International to Ajijic and, um, or anywhere here at Lakeside, and with 500 pesos with a tip. You pay at a kiosk inside the terminal as you come out of international um, gate exit, and then you go out on the sidewalk where somebody will help you and direct you to the next taxi in line. And they will give you a taxi that's appropriate to your situation, if it's number of people or how many big bags you got or you need a van or whatever. They'll give you the right taxi, but it's all the same price. Uh, frolicking among the geysers of the Los Patitos River. This is an article by John Peet, and John Peet writes an article in every Guadalajara reporter, and he's always talking about hiking in the mountains or going to a special place that has a special thing going on about nature. Um, this particular one is about uh, hiking to a place that has natural hot springs, and uh, you can commune with the geyser. 
John Peet has been here and written articles about those kinds of things in the area of Mexico that we live for many, many years. Here's a sad one. Um, dentist Alberto Don Oliveira uh, passed away in his home July 23rd. These two front teeth were put in by Dr. Don uh, in 2002. Um, we considered him a friend and uh, I'm sorry to hear of his passing. My mother, ha my mother is 101. She'll be 102 in January. And um, she now has no teeth, she has dentures. But 15 years ago, before they pulled the last of her teeth and, and she got dentures, she had at one time 19 of Dr. Don's uh, crowns in her mouth. <laughs> this next section is about uh, things going on. Um, at LCS, that's the Lake Chapala Society, if you don't know what that is, Google it. The Lake Chapala Society has open circle, and this is a regular thing. They talk about all different kinds of stuff. Uh, this one is going to be by a guy named Corchado, who's going to talk about his book, Homelands. Uh, Lake Chapala birders are having uh, a meeting. Banking explained. <laughs> this is by an official from a bank. Unless you're making money in Mexico, go and watch my expat banking videos. I've made two of them in the last 10 days and mentioned Capital One, my debit and credit cards, in, an, in another one, a third one. Uh, go watch that if you need to know about expat banking. Unless you're making money in Mexico. If you're making money in Mexico, you need to know about Mexican banks. Otherwise, I don't think you need, never mind. TED Talks, uh, you probably know what those are. They talk about all different kinds of things. Uh, Lakeside Singles is having a meeting. The Bubba Gump Shrimp Fest. American Legion Post Number 7 in Chapala will hold its annual shrimp fiesta Thursday, August 15th. Uh, they're going to have uh, a vocalist who provides entertainment. I want to say something about the shrimp here. We have a place not too far from our house where you can get fresh seafood and shrimp. And I like shrimp a lot. We get shrimp here, and it's very, very good. When I go to the States, I could go to Red Lobster, I could go to an expensive restaurant, I could go get shrimp, I... I can't stand it. <laughs> if you've never had fresh shrimp, um, get it when you get a chance. LCS bus, bus trips. Uh, the Lake Chapala Society takes a bus trip to Costco, the Galleria's Mall. That's where the cartel guy was shot in Guadalajara on Wednesday, August 21st. Uh, LCS courses, you can learn about Mexican manners on the 22nd of August. You can learn about street language on the 28th, street Spanish. Um, they're having a fundraiser for a young lady who needs two hip replacements, a local lady. Um, Warren Hardy Spanish classes. People ask me all the time, do I need to know Spanish if I'm going to come to Mexico? Well, of course, it depends on where you go in Mexico, but if you're in an area where there are a lot of uh, foreign residents, like here, you can get by without Spanish. I mean, gracias and por favor will take you a long way, but... Um, you can also take lessons while you're here, and my answer to that is always... You will enjoy the culture much more if you know some Spanish. 
And the more Spanish you know, the more you'll like. You'll like the culture. Uh, this is uh, two pages of church services. We have uh, an Anglican, Baptist, Presbyterian, Jewish, Unitarian, uh, Christ Church Lakeside, the Little Chapel by the Lake, Abundant Life Church, Home Church International, Lakeside Community Fellowship, the San Juan Batista, San Andres Mass. San Andres is the main church in Ajijic, and they have English masses. Um, well, they're not all in English, but different schedules. All of these I've listed will have English um, preachers. I meant to say English services. <laughs> uh, San Antonio English language mass. It's a Catholic parish. Ribera's Meditation Center. Uh, entertainment. Uh, this is the Ribera Arts Review. Uh, the Beatles Tribute Band is going to have a presentation on Friday the 16th. The Spotlight Club is going to have a Viva Las Vegas show with the crazy bitches female impersonators. <laughs> they take the stage on Friday. <laughs> uh, a Kid's Cinema, children's movies in Spanish. Uh, LLT, that's the uh, Lakeside Little Theater is starting their 55th season on Wednesday the 14th, and it gives all of the plays that they have for the whole season through the 5th of March. Uh, there's going to be a workshop for musicians, improvisation workshop for musicians and music students. Um, there's a call from another theater that, uh, a casting call, come and try out. Film aficionados, the Lake Chapala Society, again, members can take advantage of the film aficionado screenings each Thursday, and I guess it gives a list of films they're going to have. One of them is The Cold War, Poland, 2018, will be screened. Uh, a piano recital. Woodstock reprised the Bar Chameleon, that's right down by the plaza in Ahihik. Constitution 29 in Ahihik is holding a tribute to the 50th anniversary of Woodstock. Uh, a cellist is coming to play well-known works by Mexican composers. Uh, you get a crossword and a Sudoku. The movie schedule for the week. Uh, I'll just leave you the list of movies. I don't know how current these are because I don't know when they were re released in the United States, but if you're living there or wherever you live, and you, you'll know. Uh, Crawl, Teen Spirit, the Secret Life of Pets. These are all in English, by the way, with Spanish subtitles. Occasionally, they don't have. Um, occasionally, they'll be in Spanish only if it's like a foreign film, a film that wasn't made in the United States, or a Mexican-produced film, or if it's an animated film, um, because or if it's a, a children's film. It does say that. I assume that the Secret Life of Pets is for kids but it also says it's in English. Um, because Spanish um, is necessary for, for when Mexican kids go, because they don't all speak English. Um, Ted Bundy, Fast and Furious, Hobbs and Shaw, The Lion King, and again, we get we, here at uh, in Ahihik, we have ten movie screens in two different places, uh, four in one place, six in another, and in each of those places, one of the screens is for 3D movies. 
And it costs about $3 to go to the movies if you're an old guy. Uh, there's a whole page of things going on in Guadalajara in terms of entertainment. A lot of uh, internationally famous music stars doing performances. There's a folk dance by the Ballet Folklorico at the Teatro de Guiado. Um, that's a big uh, opera house style place in Guadalajara in the historical district. Auditorio Telmex is a uh, I think it's a 30,000 seat uh, auditorium uh, uh, between Ajijic and uh, Guadalajara. And they get a lot of really big time entertainers there. Uh, they're having a performance of Jesus Christ Superstar, um, the rock opera penned by Andrew Lloyd Webber. Uh, Daniel Boaventura, Fernando de Guillardillo, King Crimson, a mariachi gala, the Gypsy Kings, chamber music. And I, uh, they get um, Julio Iglesias, um, Gloria Estefan, um, people like that come to that auditorium. Anyway, uh, I hope you found some of that interesting and enlightening about some of the things that go on here uh, at uh, Lakeside, the north shore of Lake Chapala in Jalisco, Mexico. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.